Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go out to New York City and we're going to update everybody on what's going on with the uh, big Skinny Joey podcast controversy and how it's uh, being dealt with in New York City amongst the five families. We were the first to report uh, a couple of weeks ago about Barney Belomo and Lorenzo Menino, the uh, Genovese and Gambino crime families, respectively, uh, have uh, made a no podcast order, uh, a directive for Joey to take the podcast uh, down off the internet immediately. As everybody knows, Joey Merlino, the longtime alleged boss of the Philadelphia mob, uh, the the coolest, most you know, pop culture influential mafia don of the last quarter century, uh, not. You know, if you if you kind of read the tea leaves leading up to this, not necessarily crazy that he jumped onto social media and uh, it, it's not being received very well. It's been going on about six, seven months right now. The story that we're reporting right now is that Mikey Mancuso, Mikey the Nose of the Bananos, is chiming in uh, after uh, Genovese and Gambinos have, have made their edict and imposed a uh, what I'm being told is a leverage embargo where they're telling their uh, respective troops in their crime family that they can't do any business with Philadelphia right now until this is all settled. I heard there's a series of meetings that have been taking place. Um, and my, Mancuso's in jail. Everybody knows he's serving a year for a supervised release violation. And he was, a, you know, kind of at an adversarial posture with Barney and Lorenzo Menino uh, about a year ago regarding kind of his house being a little bit of a mess and the unrest uh, with, with his camp that was, uh, causing fireworks and uh, Barney and Lorenzo didn't like the way it looked. And they put a temporary leverage embargo on uh, relations, business relations with the Bananos. And it worked according to my sources. Uh, they're trying the same play with Joey. So Mancuso has chimed in and is telling all of his uh, uh, crime family, no social media. Uh, everybody should not be on any Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, if they are not on, they're not allowed to go on. And if they are on, I'm told that Mancuso wants them off uh, immediately. He's sent word through his best friend and uh, acting boss right now, underboss Johnny Joe uh, Spirito and his you know, nephew, protege Ernie Aiello, uh, are, are going around and letting everyone know uh, what's coming from uh, Mikey the Nose in prison. And I've also been told that Johnny Joe has taken meetings with uh, lieutenants in the Genovese and Gambino to let Barney and Lorenzo know that, that Mikey knows is kind of in lockstep behind them in terms of not agreeing with what Joey Merlino's doing and wanting him to take the, the podcast down. But I'm told that Mikey knows has not imposed any uh, restriction on his troops for doing any uh, uh, business with, with Philadelphia. But uh, he wants everybody off social media immediately. This is not playing well uh, in the Big Apple. That's not a surprise, but it seems to be the momentum against Joey and, and, and his guys in Philadelphia that are supporting him seem to be, the momentum seems to be going against them right now. And uh, tensions seem to be brewing faster. And I'm not saying that there's going to be any violence. I don't predict any violence. Nobody's going to get killed or, or beaten. This is pure politics. But Barney Belomo, who is the boss of bosses, uh, this is pretty much undisputed, uh, leader of the West Side, I reported in the past that he feels personally slighted. He helped Joey become boss 25 years ago uh, and kind of by unconventional means feels like, uh, you know, he sanctioned him. He he greenlit the, the administration when he had some other bosses in New York that were trying to delegitimize him. Uh, and he feels like this looks bad upon him. Lorenzo and, and, and Barney, from what I told, feel like this could set a precedent and allow other made guys uh, to, to jump on and become social media brands and influencers and have podcasts. Uh, so, but it's interesting to see that Mancuso is chiming in from by, by, behind bars. He'll be coming out in August, um, and it looks like things have calmed down there. We all know what was happening last last year, uh, and that, that upset people uh, in other crime families like Barney and Lorenzo. Uh, I also want to note, as I wrap this up, that I'm being told that the one support base that Joey has right now, in addition to the people that are, you know, in his inner circle 
uh, are the Jersey uh, Perna crew. Uh, that little Joey Perna and, and his cousin, Big Joey, and uh, those guys are supporting Joey and saying that, you know, if he wants to do this, it's his his right to do whatever he wants, and it's not going to affect business that we're doing with the, the Philly guys. So only time will tell. We're being told there's a lot of meetings going back and forth, and I'll, I'll let everyone know what, what I'm hearing. But as of right now, as of the last couple of weeks, Mikey the Nolf Mancuso uh, from prison sent word to the street, no social media for the Bonanno rank and file. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm-hmm.